College football is great. You speculate all off season, think you got it all figured out. Then week one comes and sometimes you're left stunned. For one of our local teams, it was more of the same. For another, it was a monumental day for many reasons in program history. Keith Oso and Sarah Wheeler have complete coverage from the Eagles' big win in Pullman. Well, I have to be honest, I didn't see this one coming. There was just too many question marks surrounding this Eastern Washington team. Five new starters on the offensive line and a quarterback that hadn't taken a snap in a college game. But Gage Gubrud turns out to be the real thing. Over 550 total yards and six touchdowns as he leads the Eagles to another win against a Pac-12 team, this time at Martin Stadium. A uh, dream come true for me. I mean, that's that's been my dream my whole life is to come in here and be able to start against a Pac-12 team in a Pac-12 stadium. And I got that opportunity. And not only did I get the opportunity, but uh, came out with the W. So it's a dream come true for sure. This is, to me, not just a Pac-12 team. This is a Pac-12 team that's coming off a bowl season. This is a Pac-12 team that I still believe can win, you know, can be eligible for a bowl again this year. I just have a lot of respect for what Coach Leach and what they do and, and how good they can still be. So we knew it would take a huge effort out of us. And a lot of things that we were going to have to grind. But our expectation the whole time was to come in here and find a way to win. You'd sure think it'd get easier in week two after a Pac-12 opponent, but the Eagles now head to Fargo to take on five-time defending champion North Dakota State. That's a pretty tough second game of the season. Of course, the Eagles only half the story here in Pullman. The Cougars left wondering how did they lose for the second straight year to a Big Sky team. Sarah Wheeler has more with that. Yeah, Keith, you mentioned it. When are these guys going to learn in the season openers? They got to show up. Last year, same exact thing. Portland State coming in here and beating these guys once again. Coach Leach has yet to win a season opener here in Pullman in such high expectations. These guys coming off a bowl win last year, a nine win season. They come in here and lose to an FCS team for the second straight year. Afterwards, nothing but disappointment from the Cougs. We are not that team from last year. We got to find our own identity, and we need to play better football. Like, this is what they bring us here to play football, and then we come out on, on Saturdays. We only got 12 opportunities to play on a Saturday, and we work out all offseason, and then we come out and we play bad football. I don't, I don't understand. <clears throat> I don't understand, you know? The thing's not going to get any easier either for Washington State. Next week, they hit the road to take on Boise State. The Bronco team, led by Spokane Zone, Brett Rippon, the quarterback there for the Broncos, going to be a tough task. Can the Cougs avoid an 0-2 start? Find out next week. For now, though, from Pullman, I'm Sarah Wheeler, KXOY4 Sports. Thanks, guys. As Sarah mentioned, no rest for the weary. WSU heads to the Smurf turf, 10.5-point dogs. Against Boise, they'll play under the lights on Saturday night. While the Eags hit part two of their difficult three-game opening stretch, they visit the Bison. As always, you can listen to Eagle football with Larry Weir on 700 ESPN.